Okay, so let's go over the human circulatory system. We'll start with the arteries first. So the heart would be here. This is the aorta, and the aortic arch comes around, and then it starts to go down. When it goes down, it becomes the descending aorta. There are three branches coming off of it. The first branch is the left subclavian artery. The next branch is the left common carotid artery going into the neck. Next branch is the brachiocephalic artery. It branches then again into the right common carotid artery into the neck and the right subclavian artery going into the arm. This model doesn't really have arms. If it did, when we got to the armpit, we would have the axillary arteries, and then when we got into the arms, we would have brachial. As we continue down below the diaphragm then, we have all of our organs. So we have an artery that goes to each one of those. So this truncated piece here is called the celiac trunk and it goes to stomach, pancreas, and spleen. Then the next one down is the superior mesenteric artery. It goes to the small intestine. Then we have two arteries that each go to a right and left kidney called the renal arteries. Then we have two more that each go to either the um, testes or the ovaries. Those are called the gonadal arteries. And then the last one is the inferior mesenteric artery, which goes to the large intestine. We have a little mnemonic device that we use. It's called cats smell really gross ick. And that helps people remember those arteries. Then you have something called the saddle. The saddle is located at about the belly button, not into the legs. We kind of want it to, to branch into the legs, but it actually is in the belly button. It branches then into common iliacs, uh, right and left, right and left internal iliacs, right and left external iliacs, and then when you head into the leg, brachial artery.